Hello again, and thank you for your interest in our Grand Canyon information video series. The most frequently asked questions about the Grand Canyon and the questions you should be asking instead. In our last video, we talked about Grand Canyon rafting trips and how most family-friendly rafting trips actually occur outside the borders of Grand Canyon National Park, but still on the Colorado River. Today, we're going to talk about a fact of life in the American Southwest, long drives. Question number four, how can I get from Las Vegas to Grand Canyon South Rim without driving myself? We get asked this question so frequently, mainly owing to the fact that it's a five-hour drive from Las Vegas to the Grand Canyon. That's right, five hours. It's understandable if that figure is somewhat intimidating, but there are a few valid reasons why the question you should ask is, why should I drive myself from Las Vegas to Grand Canyon South Rim anyway? Arizona is a big state. In fact, you can fit several eastern states into the same space Arizona occupies. Long drives are pretty much unavoidable out here, and what's more, public transportation such as buses and trains are virtually non-existent. The drive from Las Vegas Grand Canyon South Rim is nothing you need to fear. Though you may have heard about how desolate the desert of the southwest is, the route from Vegas to the canyon is a well-traveled, fully paved road, most of it interstate highway. From Las Vegas, you take Highway 93 southeast to Kingman, Arizona. On the way, be sure to stop at the Hoover Dam or sit out early to avoid delays due to the bypass construction. In Kingman, you'll transfer to Interstate 40 and take that due east to Williams, Arizona. In Williams, you then get on Highway 64 and take that north to the Grand Canyon. No backcountry dirt roads, no cliff-hugging washboards, no ruts, no gravel. It's easy, so don't be afraid. Besides, you're on vacation, so the journey is part of the fun. If you're still opposed to driving, there are a number of day tour packages available from Las Vegas to Grand Canyon South Rim. The Las Vegas Grand Canyon Motor Coach Tour is the ideal tour for those visitors who are watching their budgets. Beginning bright and early in the morning, you'll be picked up at your Las Vegas hotel and driven to a transfer station where you'll board a deluxe motor coach bound for the Grand Canyon. Your first stop will be Hoover Dam. This stately structure, dating back to the 1920s, is still considered a crowning achievement in engineering, even by today's standards. You'll have approximately 20 minutes to explore and take photographs before pressing on to your next destination, Kingman, Arizona, where you'll have a brief opportunity to grab a snack or beverage before turning onto Interstate 40. A small section of the road was once a part of Route 66, the Mother Road, where thousands embarked on that now legendary journey that wound from Chicago to Los Angeles. Bypassed by the interstate in the 1970s, few reminders of Route 66 heyday remain, but those with sharp eyes and a good imagination may spot a few out the window of the coach as you roll through the vast expanse of the Mojave Desert. After stopping to enjoy a buffet lunch, your next destination is Grand Canyon National Park. Your first stop will be Mather Point, where the vast chasm spreads out before you in all of its multicolored glory. This point was named for the founder of the National Park Service, Stephen Ting Mather. At this point, there are several small balconies that extend off the main overlook at Mather Point. Take the time to explore some of those and you'll understand how even being a short distance below the canyon rim is a whole different sensation than standing on top of it. You'll also have time to walk across the street to the Canyon View Information Plaza, where a number of informative displays will orient you to the geology and human history of the park. You can also shop for books and DVDs at the Grand Canyon Association Bookstore. After leaving Mather Point, you'll go on to the main commerce area of Grand Canyon National Park, Grand Canyon Village. Here you'll have time to take in the views of the canyon's widest part while strolling along the rim. You might also browse for mementos of your visit while you explore the shops and hotels that are now on the Register of Historic Landmark, such as the El Tovar, Hopi House, Lookout Studio, and the Bright Angel Lodge. Afterward, it's time to get back on your motor coach and head back to Las Vegas, where you'll be dropped off at your hotel. Your tour price includes tax, lunch, and hotel shuttle service from most major hotels on the Strip or downtown. Tour length is about 15 hours hotel to hotel. If that sounds like too long of a day for you, then consider the Las Vegas Canyon Connoisseur Tour. This best-selling Las Vegas Grand Canyon Tour begins with hotel shuttle service to the Boulder City Municipal Airport, where you'll board a fixed-wing airplane for an unforgettable flight over Hoover Dam, Lake Mead, and the Grand Canyon. Upon landing at the South Rim's Grand Canyon National Park Airport, you'll be met by a motor coach and enjoy a tour of Grand Canyon South Rim, including Mather Point, Grand Canyon Village, and the spectacular IMAX film presentation, Grand Canyon. In the Hidden Secrets. Afterward, you'll fly directly back to Boulder City and be dropped off at your hotel. 
tour length is approximately nine hours from hotel to hotel and also includes lunch. Hotel shuttle service for both the Las Vegas Grand Canyon Motor Coach and the Canyon Connoisseur is included at no extra charge and is available from most major hotels on the Strip and downtown. To book either of these tours, visit GrandCanyon.com, scroll down to the paragraph on tours from Las Vegas, Nevada, and click on the appropriate tour link. Another option you might consider is driving to Williams, Arizona, parking your vehicle, and going to the south rim aboard the Grand Canyon Railway. This is not only a trip to the Grand Canyon, but a trip back in time. In 1901, the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad completed a spur line from Williams that extended all the way to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Up until that point in time, the journey to the Grand Canyon was a whiplash-inducing stagecoach ride that took up to 12 hours. For almost five decades, the railway was the preferred mode of travel to the edge of the Great Chasm, but eventually its popularity was eclipsed by private passenger cars. In 1968, a mere three passengers enjoyed the last commercial train ride to Grand Canyon National Park. In 1969, the Williams Train Depot closed, and the glory days of the Grand Canyon train were proclaimed over. But that proclamation turned out to be a bit premature. Nearly 20 years later, a familiar steam whistle was heard once again echoing through the Ponderosa Pines as the old iron horse made its re-inaugural run to the Grand Canyon, 88 years to the day after the arrival of the first passenger train in 1901. The Grand Canyon Railway is back to stay, and it is bigger than ever as thousands of passengers annually relive the historic journey, complete with Wild West shootouts, cowboy singers, and even a train robbery. The train departs every morning from Williams and arrives at Grand Canyon South Rim around noon. After a three-hour layover inside the park, the train returns to Williams, arriving around dinner time. It should be noted that since Williams is 60 miles due south of the Grand Canyon, you won't see the Grand Canyon from the train. You see the canyon when you get to the park and get off the train. Since it is an antique diesel engine, a 60-mile journey takes two hours and 15 minutes to complete each way. The Grand Canyon Railway is an Old West historic experience and an attraction unto itself. For more information on the Grand Canyon Railway, visit GrandCanyon.com, scroll down to the paragraph on tours from Williams, Arizona, and click on the appropriate link. Scenic Airlines also offers a number of overnight packages from Las Vegas to Grand Canyon South Rim that include round-trip air transport, lodging, and in-park tours. For more information on these, keep watching for instructions on how to order our complete Grand Canyon Travel Planner with contact information for all Las Vegas Grand Canyon tours. Thanks again for watching. We hope you're enjoying this informational video series and that it's helping you plan your Grand Canyon vacation quickly and easily. If you have any comments or suggestions, please email info at grandcanyon.com. Tomorrow, we'll be discussing airplane and helicopter tours and why neither one is better than the other, just different. For now, we've got to fly.